What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. Just about to go ahead and see what's out here in LA, Hollywood, wherever we're at. Just want to start with the video right, show you guys some good visuals. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys hit the like button, share it with more people, and subscribe if you are new. So I was live streaming today on my gaming channel, Gaming with Bosco, as you can see right there. And look who came through the live stream and said, what's up? That's official tissue. What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again at Foot Locker Hollywood and Highland. Not here to stay too long, but I want to show you guys the latest things they have out here actually in the store. I'm about to do my job and go to Runyon Canyon and get some workout on. But of course, it wouldn't be a day without stopping by Foot Locker and Shoot Pounds Hollywood and Highland, which is where I'm at now, sitting in the King's chair. I'm about to get out of here, though. I did wrap it up. Let me know what you guys think about everything you've seen here. Comment, like, subscribe, you dig? Let me know what y'all think about these. I have not seen these. Are these new? When did they actually drop? They got a lot of heat here. They got these bad boys too, which a lot of people were talking about, bruh. The materials on them are not bad. This material right here is something I was wondering about what it would be like. What's this, uh, 110 price point still, bruh. I'm telling you, for 110, you guys can't beat that price point. But let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Cop pass, fire, or trash. We'll probably get a home, probably get these home to do like a side-by-side -side with the, uh, Kyrie five model mentalities and see what they're talking about. You feel me? LeBron fans alike, we know what this is about. That Martin. I like this, bro. I like this shoe. This colorway fire. It's got that purple upper. That Nike stitch in right there. Got the Martin colors. Got the Martin logo with the crown logo. Also, it's crazy. Let me know what y'all think. Are these copper pass, man? I think these are pretty fire. Definitely one of the doper colorways of the LeBron 16s. Crazy shoe, bro. I know this would have been hyped if he was in the playoffs right now, but these are still fire. Let me know what you guys think about them. Now, these are like a mustard. I think we might have seen it before, but I'm not too sure. I think I might have seen them more on pictures than I actually seen them in person. What do you guys think about these Jordan 1 lows in the comment section below? Do you guys like these more than the red and black ones or these yellow ones? Kind of give you like a new love feel or a, uh, what's the other black and yellow shoe they got out there for Jordans? Not too bad though. It almost looks like a navy blue, but that's, that's black. Black with gray, and then you got the orange on the back part of the shoe. Very, very dope. The shoe looks pretty dope. The materials on this is pretty plush, bro. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Jordan 33s, also this colorway is probably one of the more um, summertime colorways that they have came out with. I have seen people going after these more so than the red ones that I like a lot. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Are these ones better than those? Let me know which Jordan 33 you guys like better. I've seen a lot more people going after these than the red ones, and I think the red ones is fuego, bro. Still got these on deck for you guys out there looking for these. Still got them on deck. You know, House of Hoops always has a lot of dope shoes, a lot of limited colorways or exclusive things at the, at the House of Hoops of Hollywood and Highlands. You guys definitely need to check it out if you are in the LA area. I've never seen this 33 before either. That back panel is a little different. These look different. No, these are. Are these a 33s? I think so. Oh, it's not a 33. This is a 33 like though. Let me know what you guys think about these. This boat colorway, not too bad actually. Let me know what you guys think about these zoom flies. That knit upper boat with the black. Not too bad. Good summertime workout shoe, you know what I mean? Especially like this colorway right here. We've seen this colorway on the other Vapor Max, the older model, but this one with the new one, pretty dope, man. So we saw these at the outlet but they were in a smaller size. They do now have them at Foot Locker for, for uh, on sale, 129, as opposed to that 160 price point. So not bad, bro, not bad. They are coming down on the prices at Foot Locker just like they do in the outlets. Maybe not as much, but they are discounting them and putting them things on sale, you know? This House of Hoops here still has some Game of Thrones on deck if you guys are looking for it, bro. The White Walkers that we have seen, these ones as well as those, and these too. Full Locker Hollywood and Highland still got your Game of Thrones. They even have the metal pack down there. If you see the gold, the silver, and the bronze. Very, very dope. And of course, they got the reboots with the new Ultra Boost on here. Pretty dope and fly, bro. I'm surprised that they still have them sitting down because a lot of people were going after these. Especially those. Those sold out pretty quick. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. These up tempo maxes or whatever the hell they're called. Up tempo 720. I like the red 
with the white riding. I like how they came out with the up tempos with the different materials. These aren't bad though. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. A very bulky shoe, but I have heard these are comfortable. If you are somebody out there who actually owns a pair of them, fill us in in the comment section, bro. Let us know how comfortable these are and what they might compare to. We want to know, bro. A lot of people want to see these or know what they're about before they even go to the store and look for them because uh, it's kind of iffy. At one point, it looks really dope. At one point, it looks really bulky and crazy. So we need some help, y'all. These ones as well. The bronze threes in the red and black white colorway. What are you guys thinking about this one? Wasn't sure what day this actually came out. 175 retail. Me personally, I'm actually good on those. But let me know what you guys think, man. We all have different opinions. That's why I'm here to show you guys multiple shoes because what I might like, you guys might think is ugly, vice versa. They got a lot of different fire heat though here. Hollywood and Hollywood Foot Locker. If you ever come to LA or you live out of LA, you guys need to come here and check this place out, bro. Got these bad boys, of course. And then what's going on here? Did, did this come with the shoe? I didn't know they had one of those on it. Is it? Let me know if you guys knew it had that on there. I never knew it came with those. That's pretty dope. KD12 with that battle knit. Another good look at these in the light with more light on it. You know what I'm saying? Full Locker Highland with the Highland. Good price point for these. These are super light like I've been telling you guys. They still got KD11s here. Some foam posits. LeBron 16s. Barclays. Kobe's. Everything you can want, bro. Everything you can want, they got it at the store. You need to just come out here and check it out if you have an opportunity to. You feel me? <laughs> just headed out that store. A lot of good things in there, of course. They always got good stuff, man. I can't repeat that enough. Hollywood and Highland Foot Locker always got a lot of good stuff you guys might want to check out. Um, we're going to go by Shoe Pass real quick, then Marshalls, and then head to Running Canyon and get this little workout in, plus these views, man. If you enjoy what you guys see, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe as always. Shoe Palace, Hollywood and Highland, one of my other stops. I always tell you guys I come by here and Hollywood and Highland Foot Locker. They always have a great um, selection of shoes that you guys can see behind me. They got the LeBron Martins, they got Kyrie Fives, Mama Mentality, as well as the Rockets. They got a lot of things, man. Just check it out. And I actually see something that I haven't seen at the other place we just left, which we're going to talk about right now. You see me going right to the bad boy. What is really good going on with this PG3 Triple Black? or double black because there's some gray on here too. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. I really don't even think these released yet. If you guys have the release date on them, let me know, but I really don't think these came out yet. Let me know what you guys think about these in that comment section below, bro. And we're actually gonna get some light on it to see if there's anything else going on. Get a closer look with the light on it. No 3M, but this does have some type of fluorescent type of shine to it along with the Nike swoosh. Not a bad shoe at all. All black can go with anything if you wanna wear these for style. On the court, I'm not too sure about them, man. I haven't tried these things yet. If you're a guard like me, these will probably be perfect for you. What do you guys think about the KD 12s also next to the PG 3s? The latest in Nike basketball right here. LeBron's, Kyrie's, KD's, and PG 13. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. What's the best shoe in this picture right here? Then LeBron's is really poking out, really popping out. I really thought these wouldn't sit on shelves. They did, they did just come out a few days ago. But I really didn't think these were going to sit on shelves. If you guys knew they were going to sit on shelves, let me know. Definitely a dope ass shoe though. Cop pass, fire, or trash. Cop pass, fire, or trash, my dude. This colorway is dumb fire. Dumb, stupid fire, bro. What do you guys think about these in the comment section below? This is not a bad colorway of these epic reacts, bro. A lot of things going on. Definitely a summertime vibe. Let me know the thoughts and opinions, and you know where to let me know. What do you guys think about these? Nike React, what are these elements? What do you guys think about these? 129 price point, that's not a bad price point for these. This colorway is dope. A lot of people come with them summertime spring colorways as they should. Pretty dope though, let me know what you guys think about those in the comment section below. The free runs, this colorway I haven't seen yet. We've seen them in a few different colorways, but not that one. Let me know what you guys think about those. And then this one has like that fluorescent thing, whoa. We are truly in the future. What is going on with these? I got some light on it and you guys can see how that's, wow. Is this dope to you guys or not? I think this is pretty dope how the uh, material kind of does that. It changes color and, yeah, right? 
that's pretty dope, man. Out in the sun and It'd be crazy. Be Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. Probably so, right? <laughs> what do you guys think about these in the comment section below? I'm loving this little sh That's crazy. This place always got your fix for 95 if you're a 95 fan or Air Max fan in general. Look at these dual Air Max Deluxe. Haven't seen them in this colorway myself. If you have, comment down below. One. 179 180 price point on these what do you guys think about these in the comment section these are you know men's sneakers they're in the men's section got a lot of pink going on you know what i'm saying but it, it does it does go with the shoe let me know what you guys think is this cop pass fire or trash shoe palace hollywood and highland got you loaded up with the george my dude what i'm not trying to tell you this is a very very lit super dope location this location as well as hollywood and highland are like the best two shoe palaces and foot lockers in the area that I go around from LA to Lindale to Temp Topanga Northridge Chatsworth shoe palace Hollywood and Highland foot locker Hollywood and Highland the best ones I think they're flagship stores maybe that's why and I know the foot locker is like the only flagship store or the biggest one on the west coast um, let me know what you guys think though man a lot of heat in here what are these are these dunks these are dunks but like Jordans are these Jordan one lows what what color is this haven't seen this before if you have if you guys got information let us know in the comment section so the rest of the community can know what's up with these maybe i should know but i don't even know i haven't seen these around these are jordan one mids right yeah jordan one mids i feel like this is gonna be in a crazy colorway i think the summertime a lot of people might rock these let me know though it's like all yellow it's like a michigan is that black or navy blue i can't really tell right now for some reason <laughs> then they got the laker one still here on deck Still here on deck. I've seen people doing lace swaps with these, putting purple laces, putting gold laces, putting yellow laces, putting black laces. If you own a pair of these and you switched up your laces, let us know in the chat, the comic section, which shoes you guys switched up. They still got these bad boys, which I think is a, a really good Jordan 1 mid, probably one of the better ones out there. The black and gold things. Still got some Jordan 9s, Westbrooks, Nikes, Jordans. These right here. Seen people talking about these. I'm good on them. I passed. Didn't even really want to go after them. They look like some other type of shoes that are out right now. Let me know what you guys think, of course, um, about these shoes. Is this a cop pass? Is it fire? Is it trash? It's definitely heavy. That's one thing I will say this is. The red and black colorway is not too bad. You know what I mean? These are still dope. Not surprised that they're sitting out. So many shoes coming out here. We have seen these actually in the outlets already too. It's only a matter of before they're in the outlets for lower than retail. Well, you get them lower than retail at the outlets, especially if it's 20% off, but maybe even lower than that. What are these for ladies? Some like Cortez, but not Cortez. Ladies out there watching the video, if you are, let me know. Is this something that you guys are liking or is it trash? I would love to know what is going on. They look different, but I'm not really cool on them, but that doesn't mean the girls don't like them, you know what I'm saying? And then they got some shocks. They bringing shocks back all the way around, bruh. These are looking like those shocks from back in the day. Just some low tops. These are for women. Nike trying to do their thing and look, they look out for the girls, the women alike. Pretty dope though. Let me know if you guys like these. Fellas and ladies alike, let me know what's the deal with these. Have anybody else seen this? Of course, we show everything. This is a Dornbecker. A Dornbecker Nike hat. Never seen this before. Uh, if you have, let me know. Is this dope or not? I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty lit. These ones right here for the kids are not bad, bro. I had to swoop over here and pick these up real quick just to see what you guys think about these in the comment section below. I saw them from afar. Like, what's that? Of course, this is kids colorway Air Max 98. They always get crazy dope colorways as well, which I'm not mad at. This is a fire shoe though. Let me know if you guys agree down below, right? Never seen these. What the hell are these? What's going on here for the kids? Got like a cement three back. Got the strap going on. I don't even know what these are called. If you know, let me know down below. <laughs> Different colorway. Got that 3M popping on there as you guys can see. That's a pretty lit color color. Pretty lit colorway. Then this black and white thing got the 3M all over it too. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Hopefully I'm not talking too fast. I am trying to do multiple things. We about to go over here to Rain Canyon. But I did want to come by and just show you guys what's going on here. 
Still got the NASA for the kids. Got the Kyrie 5 model mentalities, of course. New balance section, still lit. They got feelers back here now, along with uh, Converse, as you guys can see. A lot of dope stuff here, bro. They got the Kappa outfits. Got a whole bunch of Kappa gear in here for men and women as it looks. Maybe this is the women's section. I think some of this is men's too, I don't know. But Kappa definitely has some new stuff. It's definitely growing. Been around for a very long time. A lot more people are starting to get into it though. Let me know if that's something that you guys are into. Um, I'm about to wrap it up and get out of here because I still got to get to Running Canyon. I actually go by Marshalls first. But if you guys are liking the video, make sure you smash the like button, of course. And if you are new, you got to subscribe, you dig? All right, so it's official now. I'm leaving Shoe Palace. I said that like maybe once or twice before, but I'm officially leaving Shoe Palace now. Walking on towards Running Canyon. We got to pass by Marshalls first. Then we're going to get out of here, you dig? That's where we're headed, baby. We're going to the top of that little mountain right there. Like I said before, being here in Hollywood, you can see a lot of things. A lot of people run to a lot of people, but it's about your own grind. You don't come out here to try to clout chase. You don't come out here just because you see other people and you might try to run into them and it could benefit yourself, which yeah, of course, we're all out here on this YouTube grind, bro. I'm on the YouTube grind for real, um, but I'm trying to get there on my own too. I mean, of course I want to collab with people, but I never will ever clout chase try to be somewhere people are just to be seen and be in their videos. I think that gets out of hand, and I think you can get there on your own merit, my nigga, for real. Real relaxing, see the whole city downtown over there. The beach is that way. When it's clear out, you can kind of see the beach, but right now it's too foggy, so you can't. But the views from here is always super, super dope. A lot of people sometimes come out here you know what I'm saying? Just to work out, relax, whatever it is, whatever it is that you do. Um, just different things to give yourself motivation. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do a sneaker review up here. Just can't really figure out how to get that to actually work. I need to bring somebody with me. Make sure we keep the shoes clean, all that type of stuff. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is definitely one of the spots I wanted to go to. Not the spot. There's another spot higher up behind me, if you guys can see that, that we're going to go to. That way over there. But other than that, I wanted to show you guys what's up. If you guys are out here in Runyon Canyon, get yourself out in the outside. If you come to LA, come to Runyon Canyon. It's a good workout, good scenic thing for you guys also, for tourists and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and get back on this trail. I just wanted to come here for a little bit for myself. Nothing in particular, a little workout, but also just to get my mind, man. You can see the whole city is just relaxing, you know what I mean? I don't even know if you guys can even see this, but I pointed this out when I was down there. Where that little green tarp thing is, right? Right here, above my finger, is that corner I was at when I said we'll be all the way at the top. We made it all the way to the top. Still got a little more to go. Hey, when you get up here, you kind of just get lost for words, bro. Uh, I don't even know what to say besides thank you. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we continue to grow. I mean, I don't want to be repetitive. You know, when you get up here around these houses and stuff like that, and in this area, this free environment, you can't help but uh, but let your mind just wander about a bunch of different things and what, what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just want to be successful. I want to take care of my family. You know, I want to be on a different situation right now. It's the day we grind every single day. It is what it is. It's a grind for everybody. Just want to do things that make it a little easier. You know, I have some friends who actually made it in life, became successful and did some things where they're able to just, you know, the bills are paid automatically for the check that you get from working and just in a better situation. And for me, I've been blessed with great people around me, great friends, great family to help support me and help me through all my trials and tribulations. A lot of things have been happening in my life. Everybody's everybody's journey is different, you know what I'm saying? So it's just about sticking to your grind, you know, and, and you can get to where you're trying to go. You know what I mean? It just gets frustrating, hard sometimes, discouraging. I'm doing this grind kind of by myself. 
I don't really have any like a bit like YouTube friends in a sense or people doing YouTube every day like I am or close to me. So you know it's it's it's, it's a lot when you put it on yourself and you stay focused, uh, putting things out every single day. I only moved it to every other day just because I noticed the the reactions or the uh, the response. The videos get more clicks or more views. People watch them more if they're up a day or two. Because I know people can't get to them right away. We all have busy lives for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And as a creator, it just gets discouraging. Sometimes you put effort into a video and thinking it's going to do something and it does something totally opposite that stuff can get discouraging but i'm here to tell you myself because i dealt with a lot of it just keep uploading i upload every single day every other day and if i'm not uploading on my main channel now i'm uploading on the gaming channel gaming with bosco so no matter what it's always going to be a grind every day you see something different from me unless lord lord forbid something happens you know other than that you'll see me every day whether it's on Bosco Mitchell or Gaming with Bosco and I got something else in the works I'm trying to get together man but I had to take this time with all these flies flying around me I had to take this time to really talk to y'all and let you guys know my grind and what I got going on it's, it's, it's not it's crazy like I said I've been blessed with some situations been able to get my hands on some pretty dope shoes but I need this whole situation to change around yes I have an apartment I stay by myself and all that stuff paying bills if I'm able to do that I'm good but it's it's like a struggle it's like a check to check thing it's like not the way you want to be and my my energy never changes my energy always stays positive no matter what's going on in my personal life i always stay positive because i want to absorb and spread positive energy for you guys so it, it you know it, it radiates and it bounces back it comes back to everybody what you give out is what you get you know what i'm saying so even through the trial and tribulation it's always dope to see people responding and watching the videos people actually leaving comments people coming through the live streams whether it's three people one person 20 people it's all dope and the same it lets me know that people are liking what's going on so i'm gonna stay continue to grind as you should too don't get discouraged it can be very discouraging doing something like youtube can be very discouraging i've been doing this for damn near almost three years in august and it hasn't really panned out to what i wanted to be but i see where it's going and it's going to get me there so i'm staying confident i'm staying on the trail you know some people see things and they they automatically make assumptions and think things are different than what they really are. I'm not posing. I'm not faking. I'm being honest with you guys, letting you guys know what's up. That's partially why I go to live streams also, so we can just talk. Any questions you guys got for me, I'm more than willing to answer. I'm kind of an open book in a sense. You know what I mean? So I'm going to continue to grind. I made it to the top of where I wanted to. And that's kind of symbolism too. You have a goal, you set a goal, you meet your goal. I showed you guys early in the video where I was at. Now we came to the top where I wanted to get to. And that's what's going to happen with YouTube and everything else I try to do, as well as for yourself. You just got to believe in yourself, man. Thank you for your support, bro. We're about to get out of here. I'm about to chill for a few more minutes. But I think this might be the end of the video, unless I see something else more dope to bring to you guys. You feel me? Thank you for your support, man. Thank you for subscribing. Keep the positive energy, positive vibes. We don't care about the hate. We don't pay attention to the hate, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Now we're making our way down the hill right now to go get to the next level, get back home. Hopefully you guys enjoy everything in the video. Of course, the scenery is just magnificent. As you can see all the way around me, 360 degrees, nothing but air and sunshine, clean air, a little bit of clean air, kind of. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe as you guys always do, man. Just trying to show you guys different things besides sneakers, even though there's some sneakers in this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.